nothing good happens in, in, in large groups like that. The latest incident in Saginaw involving a large group of people in the early morning hours results in a deadly shooting. It happened a number of times. People getting together in the overnight hours, sometimes organized, sometimes on the spur of the moment. But Saginaw police say many times these gatherings end in gunfire. And Terry, sometimes police are already right in the area. That's right, and police say they are trying to break up these parties or gatherings as best they can. Officers were a block away when a 25-year-old man was shot and killed early Sunday morning. It's insane to me that these continue to happen. The bars had closed down in Saginaw's Old Town District, but people continue to gather outside in the 100 block of Hamilton at around 2 o'clock Sunday morning. It was here that 25-year-old Daquan Mims was shot and killed. And we did locate a gun down there. Saginaw police were already in the area trying to break up another crowd. Not only did we have two officers on overtime, uh, but Michigan State Police was down there. There is surveillance video of the shooting and police are looking for the suspect. I don't care if it's Saginaw or anywhere in the United States. When, when people congregate like this, bad things happen. We get tired of it, I'll put it that way. You know, all of us neighbors around here, we're just sick of it. Rick Faubert lives next to Thompson Middle School, where a late night gathering in the parking lot earlier this month ended up with one person being wounded in a shooting. They got the wooden barricades up there. I that don't stop them, they, they move them out of the way. He says his family and neighbors are awakened in the early morning hours constantly by squealing tires at a nearby intersection. But then, you know, one o'clock in the morning, you don't want to hear that. You just don't want to hear it. Residents and police both frustrated with these late night gatherings that are either publicized on social media or not. People just need to talk to their loved ones about not attending these events. And if you go out and yell at them, well, you know what's going to happen then. Then you're a target. Even though police have surveillance video of the shooting and a description of the shooter, they are asking anyone with information to give them or Crime Stoppers a call.